Recently, I made two videos on an incredibly powerful open source agentic model that's pushing the limits of what's possible in AI. It's called Kimi K2 and it's truly amazing. It's built as a mixture of experts model with 32 billion activated parameters and trained on a massive 1 trillion tokens. Kimi K2 is something that sets a new standard for open source large language models. In terms of its performance, this model achieves state-of-the-art results in frontier knowledge, math, coding, and especially amongst non-deliberately or non-thinking models. It is even outperforming the GPT-4 model series, as well as models like Sonnet 4, as well as Opus 4, across multiple agentic and coding benchmarks, and in many cases surpasses even the DeepSeq models entirely. Now, the Kimi K2 comes in two powerful variants. Yeah, the Kimi K2 base, which is the foundation model, and it's ideal for custom fine tuning, research, and deep level control. You also have the Kimi K2 Instruct, which is a reflux grade instruction tuned model built for general purpose use cases as well as agentic workflows. Now, one of the main reasons why this model is appealing is due to its pricing, as it's drastically cheaper than the Sonnet model while offering the same sort of performance, where it's listed at 15 cents for 1 million input tokens and $2.50 for 1 million output tokens. So if you're building AI agents, tack on complex coding tasks, or developing tool using systems, this is a perfect model for that particular use case. Just take a look at this demo where it created this Minecraft clone and it was able to completely generate all the components of this 3D sandbox world. Not just that, but its front end as well as its backend capabilities is pretty impressive where it's able to generate all these components pretty well and, and on par with something like what a Sonnet model is capable of generating. But there is one caveat, the generation speed. Right now, Kimi K2 is quite slow, and while the team is actively working on inference optimization, the latency can make it tough to actually use for real-time application for long-form outputs. Also, free unlimited access to Kimi K2 is currently limited or difficult to find at this current moment. But you know me, I have a solution to this. This is where I would like to introduce Kimi Coder, where you're able to get faster results, full access to agentic capabilities, and a natural language powered coding assistant all completely for free. Kimi Coder is an open source AI coding agent that turns natural language prompts into full applications. You can even host it on the web or locally completely for free. And with a single prompt, you can go from an idea to a deployable app with no coding experience needed. This is by the same project developers of Llama Coder, but now they have essentially built it around this, this new Kimi K2 model. What if you could tell AI exactly what you want and it builds a complete web app from start to finish, just like that? No tedious setup, no endless tweaking, one prompt, one working product. This is Trey 2.0, the real AI engineer. But Trey isn't just another AI coding tool. It's the first context engineer. It's designed to understand your entire project and deliver real results with full context. With solo mode, Trey becomes your independent development partner. You simply describe your idea and Trey has the ability to craft detailed specs, write accurate context where code, diagnose and resolve errors, and deploy your app all automatically. It's a new level of AI assistance that keeps you in the driver's seat. Compared to tools like Cursor or Windsurf, Trace Solo stands out by understanding your project's context deeply, resulting in cleaner, more reliable code and faster delivery. Need flexibility? Keep the AI in the sidebar to collaborate while you code manually. Trace supports a smooth user-led workflow, whether you want to fully automate or have hands-on control. So if you're ready to level up your development process and build apps faster with a true context engineer, Tray 2.0 is ready for you. Grab my invite code below and try solo mode today. Now I'll leave a link to this in the description below, but this is where you're going to be able to use the Kimi K2 to essentially generate anything with a crazy speed. So in this case, if I want to generate a SAS landing page, I can simply select it so that it is going to be using the higher quality mode, which is going to be a bit slower, but you're going to be able to see that it is way faster than using the API within something like Klein, root code, or even kilo code. And in this case, it is going to work on generating a plan and it's going to start rapidly creating our AI SAS landing page. So clearly you can see that how fast it is in terms of generating 
the code. If you were to compare this with something like Klein, you can see a drastic difference. In this case, this Kimi coder is way faster in terms of its generation speed than what you would see with Klein. And there we go. Just like that, we have our AI SaaS landing page that was fully generated. And you can see the type of quality that you get. Now, afterwards, if you want to export your code, you can simply click on this code button over here. And you have the ability to share it or download it locally so that you can iterate on it further and develop the backend system for it. With the Kimi Coder, you can simply type in anything that you want to describe and it's going to be able to build with the prompt that you give it. And you can select between two different modes. Low quality is where you can prototype and get different sorts of answers quickly. So if I want to create a quiz app, you can get a response generated quite quickly in comparison to the higher quality mode. And you can see how fast it is in developing the plan as well as generating the code and it's able to deploy your app quite within minutes. And there we go. It was able to generate our app quite quickly. And you can see that this is a really cool, simple little app that it was capable of generating. Now, if you want, you can then deploy this app by simply downloading the code. And that's how you can easily prototype with Kimi Coder. All these runs are fully free, so you don't even need to worry about any sort of API costs. And say if you want to locally host this, you can actually do so and connect it with the Together AI API, which is something that you would need to pay, but you can also link it up with something like Olama or with another provider. But this is something that I'll showcase how you can install locally within a couple of minutes. We're going to showcase a couple of other examples of what you can generate with Kimi Coder. What I want to do next is use another new feature, a part of Kimi Coder, where you have the ability to attach files and resources. In this case, I'm providing a UI UX design for a note taking app. And essentially, I'm asking it to replicate the note taking app, add a functional sticky note feature that allows you to drag and drop sticky notes and add comments to it. So let's see what it's capable of generating. We're going to have it opened up within another tab so that we can actually use these features. And just like that, I was able to create this note-taking app that has this drag and drop functionality. I have the ability to edit each uh, component and you can see how similar it actually looks to the UI or UX design that I was capable of generating. You have all of these components that was fully generated with a single prompt that was sent in to replicate the UI. And this is why I believe this Kimi K2 model powered by this coder going to be able to get you amazing results and help you prototype in many cases. Now, if you're looking to install this, you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites. Make sure you have next.js as well as git installed. And what you want to do is just simply clone this repository onto your computer. So you can use your command prompt to clone the repo. Once you have cloned it, you can then head over into the actual llama coder directory. And to do that, just simply open up VS Code or whatever ID you have and open up the directory you just cloned, create a .env, and then within your together underscore API underscore key, make sure you provide this key over here, click file and click save, and then you can proceed forward. So now you can head over to the llama coder directory by typing in cd llama coder. And then what you want to do is create a .env file and add your together AI API key. Now, what you can do is use a coding assistant to configure another provider like Olama or even Grok or even the Kimi Coder provider itself. But I'm going to be using the Together AI API. I'm going to simply go ahead into the root directory of Llama Coder and create the .env. Then what you got to do is just simply paste in the npm install command and it's going to start installing everything that's necessary to be functional locally. And then you can use the npm run dev command to start up and run this locally. And within a couple of seconds, once this finishes installing, I can start it up. And just like that, we now have it running locally. So you can see that I'm now able to access it within my computer. And this is how you can easily install the Kimi Coder locally to help you generate almost anything. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's the capability of Kimi Coder. This is what I really recommend that you should take a look at if you do not have the resources to locally host any sort of AI coder or pay for an API or if you're just simply looking to get faster generations from the Kimi K2 model. This is a great alternative than all the other tools that I've showcased, and it's something that you can easily get started as it's completely free. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. 
Join me on the newsletter as well as our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.